get that one, right? Play me a song, game. Let me know how loud you are. Okay, so we're currently trying to recruit Four Eyes, a student, a space refugee from the Covenant of Athena. Are these guys our friend? Oh, shit, no, they are not. <laughs> Man, we are not making friends out here. With anyone. Shit. Alright, so we want to... <laughs> it's fine. We can take... We can take Akila for ourselves. We'll try to recruit her. Eventually. We've got... Vela... 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 Quez? Vela... Squiz? Squeezy Vela? Uh, he's... Vela... Quez? Yeah, Vela... Quez. We have learned. He's on the cooking beat. Strick? He's our resident grower. She? He. Vela... Quez? Lady. Thomas? Pachukutu Thomas? Fuck. I'm so tired of saying this guy's name. Uh. Pete. <laughs> we'll call him Pete. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, I can't keep the. Well, what's his real name? Arcadius. I mean, Arcadius is even better than fucking Patoka Chipopinus. Pot. Pop Chopmas? With, with the typo? What's his goddamn name? I'll call him Pete. Right? That's fine. Can we change any... I mean, you could just change his, his nickname, right? Loyal, loyal Janissary. Oh, now I feel bad. I feel like we should let him have his name. Oh, Arcadius. I don't like that name either. I'll we'll call him Pete. <laughs> it's a video game, right? What's the fucking worst that could happen? Oh, it's not like he's gonna rise up. Ah, you changed my name to something vastly simpler that will help me acclimatize in awkward work situations. No, baby. We got the new music coming in too. Valakez. Really cooking it up here. Really going for the top cooking award. We love it. This is all cooled down in here. Right? Yeah, nice and cool. What about this shit? Eh, not bad. Not the best, though. I feel like the vent's not really doing us any services here. You know? You know? Maybe we gotta... Chooch that one down even a, even a bit lower? Maybe. This is all frozen. It won't spoil. We do not want to lose this precious meat. Okay, we gotta fix up the fucking floors here, too. This fucking music. <laughs> it trips, it's tripping me out, man. It's tripping me out. Who made this? Made by one man. Remove floor. No, we want to smooth the floor. Yeah. How are we going to make this one? Smooth? We can smooth this one out, too. Oh, it's going to take forever to do that. We're going to build a proper floor over here. Proper floor. Concrete floor over here. We want to do concrete for in there? Uh, I think we want to go for more of a tile. We're looking at like a tile type situation. We don't want to get the limestone? I mean, do we have limestone on this map? Marble? I don't think we do, right? Oh, wait. That's marble. Mm -hmm. I don't think we really have the limestone on this map. We've just got, what, sandstone? Marble? Yeah, okay, so we don't want the limestone floors. That'll be impossible to make. Why don't we get marble floors? Wow! Really? Wow! Fancy! Maybe? Wow. We'll do it. Ah, oh, this brings back memories. <laughs> That's right, we want to get working towards the water pump as well. Where's that? Moisture pump. Oh my god. It's so far away. What are we working on now? Okay, keep working on this one now. 
What are we working on now? Gunsmithing. Okay, actually, we do want to keep working on that one. Keep it up, pain. Maximum pain. Thanks. Please and thanks. Eventually, we want to close this all off, right? Eventually. What's knee? <laughs> hi, Benzel. Hello, hi. Hi, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. What's new, man? Hi. What's the crack of lack? Not me. Not much. Failing at RimWorld. Otherwise, pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. So far, so good. Classes are complete. He fucking did. He done did it. Wow. Nice, dude. How's it feel? Marble? Limestone. We just said we don't want to build stuff out of limestone. Though. What is this shit made out of? Granite. Do you have any granite? No! <laughs> no, we don't have any granite. <laughs> Where the fuck are we going to get granite from? Oh, here. Maybe here? What's this one? Slate. Yeah. Oh, these walls are garbaggio. To, uh, do the mine on that one. Do we need some more steel? Probably. We always need more steel. Ever and ever. Onwards. With the steel. We don't want to get too carried away with it, though, right? We don't want to use up all of our steel. Oh, shit. We gotta get some better room set up, too. I think they're well done with this barracks we've got set up for them. They're, they've had enough. They don't want to be a part of it anymore. No, relieving. I would think it's very relieving. All done. Did he done did? But now you got what like a week or two you said, and then then you got to get back to it, more or less. That's not too bad. Hey, strict. Oh, cancel the mining. Strict. You gotta carry that shit, strict Pete. Pick up the medicine, Pete. Come on, Pete. Now, when I was going to school, there was this kid that, like, he moved from, like, another city. I don't know what, like, the 6th or 7th grade or something like that. They moved from, like, another city to the city I was living in. Went to the school I was going at. Just this random kid. It's, like, halfway through the school year, too, right? So there was, like, this little preface before he came into class. They're like, now there's this new student joining us. You know, he's just moving here. Halfway through the school year, it's going to be very hard on him. Don't make fun of him. Don't pick on him. Be very nice to him. And like within a day, <laughs> within a day of him moving, and then like starting school, <laughs> someone, someone on like recess or something like that said, like you look like Pete. I'm gonna call you Pete, <laughs> and the fucking name followed him <laughs> until <laughs> until we graduated high school. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's just funny how names stick, right? <laughs> you just look like a Pete. I'm just gonna call you Pete, and then like everyone just called him Pete because the guy that started calling him Pete was like really funny and cool. Anyway. Hi. Hello, today I broke up with girlfriend. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Drama time. Oh no. Loyalty brothers. Yeah, man. That's all you need, right? Twitch, video games, and bad time. What do you need? Oh no. Now, let me tell you. Let me ask. Let me tell you. We'll tell you things later. Well, let me ask you. Wanna date me instead? There you go. Are you interested in dating a bottle of Tylenol? Uh, but well, I was gonna ask you now. Did you break up with her, or was it like a was it like a mutual thing? No, I'm down Benadryl. There you go. Just down that Benadryl. Boom. You're sleeping in no time. No. Did you do? It was it a mutual thing? Maybe it was a mutual thing. Maybe. I don't know. That sucks, man. That's rough. That ain't that ain't good. Mutual. Okay. Well, then it's for the best, maybe. It's for the best, right? You had your pokey pokey. Time to get out. No? <laughs> no? <laughs> Time to go. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I shouldn't make light of it. No? Doesn't sound... Are you crestfallen? Are you a little heartbroken? Hopefully not. Hopefully you're doing... Hopefully you're doing okay. You don't... You don't want to be crestfallen. No. No. Unless... I mean, unless that's what you like. It's 2020, right? I mean, it's a free country. Huh? Ah, well... 
hopefully we can put a smile on your face before you go you go put your head down for the night hopefully i don't know i've never really handled the whole breakup thing too well it's never really been my forte but uh hopefully you're a better man than me maybe hopefully well, maybe hopefully <laughs> it sucks man that sucks how long were you together was it like a long-term thing? Did you just kind of like beat her not that long ago? How long were you together? Didn't you like, you moved to like another city together, right? Oh, shit. Heavy. Not a boy's trick. Getting her done, bud. Oh, fuck. Me and this lady friend of mine. Let me tell you. We've been watching this. This show called Letter Kenny, which just features a bunch of fucking Canadian hicks. Canadian hicking it up real hard. So there's going to be... There's gonna be an increase of Canadian hicking. I'm just, I'm just warning you. So I heard you like rimming. Ah, fuck. I'll rim your world into next Tuesday. Don't worry about it. That's we. we it's fine. Oh, that's what we're doing. We're rimming worlds. Yeah, it feels good too, right? Hi. How's it going? Kato, kato. How are you? No. Nah, it's it's not a crime. Having the old the old rim world. No, it's not a crime. Oh, it's good. How are you doing? You well? Hopefully you're well. Hopefully it's good. What's up? Yeah, we'll do this one for a bit. We'll see how far we get in this one. Making the big old drug factory that we're going to apparently sell to the Empire? Hopefully. <laughs> I love it when my world gets rimmed. Yeah, exactly, right? You blast off in the rocket ship, right? You reach new places. Oh, it's great. Feels good. Research finished. Gunsmithing. Nice. Microelectronics? We need, like, the super fancy machine, right? Oh, no. This unlocks the high-tech research bench. Oh. Oh. But then we need... Oh, it requires the high-tech research bench. Oh, shit. Pip, 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 pip. Well, I feel, I feel bad, man. No, feel bad. Why well, feels bad, man? Feels good, man. No? The remote? No. Hopefully you, get, hopefully you feel better, man. That sucks. The breakup sucks. Are you, like, still living with each other? Oh, it's the worst when you break up, but you still have to, like, live with each, o each other for, like, what, a day or something? Maybe. Hopefully not too long. Hopefully that could be really fucking awkward. No? No more poontang. Wow, well, now nah, it's a poontang hiatus. No? A poontang hiatus. Not the poontang. No, it's okay. No? Onwards and upwards to new and poonier tangs. No? Yeah. There you go. Put that on a shirt. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, you'll get it figured out. As you probably have in the past. You need to get... You need to get... The chuchi. The coochie? The, co <laughs> the coochie. The coochie coo? That's okay. You'll get it. Good afternoon, Crisper. Good afternoon. What the fuck time zone are you in? Hello, hi. Hi. Well, I guess it's story. Technically, my... <laughs> My, uh, my afternoon. No, what are you out in the Polynesian Islands, perhaps? Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Good? How are you doing? Maybe. Bye, Pelican. I am PP Licken. What's up? Otherwise known as. The artist formerly known as I am Pelican. Now, I am PP Licken. What's up? Hi. Greetings and salutations. How's it going? Fuck, Velasquez. Velasquez. <laughs> You need to be taking this shit back, bud. Limited time offer on these ones. Let's go. Atta boy. Atta boy. Do these need to be refrigerated? Ah, shit on my ass. You do. Need to refrigerate them. If we freeze them, will they go bad? Will they get all funky? Maybe. <laughs> Herbal medicine. We don't want this one in here, right? Let's get the hall. Where are you going, Bellicus? <laughs> it's his favorite thing in the world. Hall and shit. Ah, that a boy. That a boy. That a girl. Whoops. No? If I said goodnight, I thought you might think I was leaving. Ah, it's true. That's true. Well, what's, what's like, what's the greeting? It's a uh, good evening. Good evening. Right? Good evening. Extra, extra P for the coolness. Nice. 
That's what, look, you can't spell cool without P, right? So you got that extra P in there. Perfect. Nice. Hi, right, where's pain going? How you doing, Pee-Pee pee, 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 pee Lickin? I am Pelican. How was your weekend, man? Was it good? Hopefully it was good. Pee, pee Lickin's at your service. <laughs> <laughs> oh, put that on the business card. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Grammar 100. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Also spelled incorrectly, sadly. Yeah, that's not the best. Maybe that was the joke. Maybe. I remember this one teacher of mine when I was in college, going to journalism school. He was giving us like a lot of grammar tests and really grilling us on grammar and stuff like that. And he was like roundly disliked. He was actually gone not long after. Like we we all kind of like wrote like this mass letter. I kind of feel bad even attaching my name to it at this point. But we wrote like this mass letter concerned about how he was doing as a teacher. So it seemed like he was like having a midlife crisis. Anyway, it was a long story to thing. But anyway. One of the complaints that one of the students wrote in was like, I am so sick and tired of him making us do fucking grammar lessons and stuff like that. And he, he fucking, he never named the person, but he wrote it out on the board when he addressed the fact that like, we had all complained about him and stuff like that. We basically tried to tell like the, the uh, you know, program coordinator, like this guy, he's gotta go, <laughs> he's gotta go. This is a civil revolt, student revolt. Anyway, they wrote it out on the board what this person said. Like, something to the effect, like, I'm so sick and tired of him making us do grammar quizzes or something like that. Or stupid grammar. Learning stupid grammar. And the person had fucking said, spelled grammar wrong. <laughs> it, it spelled grammar wrong. <laughs> and he wrote that out and he was like, what am I supposed to make of this? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I always liked him, but he was a bit much. <laughs> Fuck, that was such a good burn. He never fucking pointed out who it was, but oh man, that person must have just been sitting there just like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> just about as shamed as you can fucking get. Oh, it was so, it was so good. Mm, you could, mm, you could taste the Scheidenfreude. You could just taste it. You could swirl it around in your mouth like it was a liquid. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. One of those moments you don't see often. Fuck, we're under attack by a boar. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, the story. We're getting killed by the story. Valakez is fucking piecing out. Okay, we'll get Valakez to like a flanking position, and then we'll get pain on the jump here. Oh, Valakez, you gotta go. <laughs> fucking Pete's just having a sleep. Oh, don't shoot Valakez! Don't shoot Valakez! <laughs> I can't watch! Yeah! We did it. Oh my god. It's fine. Oh man, it was so good. Oh, it was so good. I always wondered who that kid was, but honestly, it could have been like half of my fucking class. Having become like the fucking lead editor of the paper we all worked on the year, the year, the semester, that very semester rather. Oh my god, it was a mess. No? wasn't that semester, it was the next semester. Yeah, it was. But still, oof. <laughs> they needed the help, all the help they could get. Aye, aye, aye. I got my friend's PS PS4 account banned on accident. What the fuck? So that's not good. That's not good. No, well, how did you do it? He made his BO3 emblem Hitler. I was going to screenshot me reporting him to scare him. I was just going to back out, but I accidentally actually reported him. <laughs> This is 30 days, so not that bad. A large youth, not longer. That's 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 not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. Just a little slap on the wrist, right? But <laughs> still, a learning lesson for him, hopefully. Don't fucking do that stupid shit. There's other ways to have a goof that don't involve, like, the suffering of millions of people. <laughs> right? Years and years ago. I don't know. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know. It's a, t it's a fine line. It's a fine line. Maybe? Maybe. It's kind of funny though. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I thought it was like permanently banned. Like he like lost access to like all the fucking games he bought and shit. That's not too bad. Just 30 days. That's decent. We can deal with that. Oh look boys, we're having fucking bacon for dinner tonight. We got the wild boar. 
Lovely. Not too much, though. Pork. Nice. Generic pork. Isn't that the best? Look, the grocery store I used to work at. They used to just literally, and it would, they would literally print out the tag like this. Meat. <laughs> it would just be like bag of meat. And it would be 10 bucks. <laughs> just be like a bag. Just a big old, big old fucking plastic bag of random jib jobs. I guess so you could make your own fucking hot dogs or something. I don't know. I'm scared, kind of scared to see him tomorrow. Ah, it'll be fine. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? It's just temporary. Fuck. What? Can he not even, like, log into PlayStation? Like, he's not gonna fight me. I just want him to be mad at me. Ah, fuck, man. It's one of those things, dude. Like, I know it seems like a big deal at the time, but in the grand scheme of things, like, you guys will be laughing about this before long. Fuck, it's already funny, if I'm being honest. But still, you'll be laughing about it before long. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. There, there. It'll be fine. And if it's not, the guy's a fucking dick, and I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It is kind of an ass. <laughs> a shitty thing to do, but... <laughs> well, not shitty, really. But... See, that's the thing. He was doing a shitty thing in the first place, right? You were really just jokingly doing the right thing, but then you accidentally do did the right thing. Sorry, man. <laughs> no? I mean... If he actually got banned for doing what he was doing, then he was in the wrong. Anyway. <laughs> a lesson learned. Hopefully. And look, if he does try to fight him, fight you, just fucking kick him right in the dick. Just kick him right in the dick. Boom. It's over. You win. No? It's usually the best way to go. Usually. Maybe then hit him and hit him a couple times, just to make sure you know he knows. Hopefully. <laughs> and this is why I should never be a parent. Here we go. How long is Four Eyes going to take? She's really holding out. Resistance remaining. One. Okay, we're whittling her down. Prison break interval. 60 days. 60 days? Wow, it actually puts a number to it. Hey, is this Wimworld 1.1? Yeah, man, totally is. Royalty DLC, what's up? Clean biscuit. Yes, it is. So far, so good. Pretty good. We're still we're still very early on. Wow, has it been 60 days already? Wow, okay, four eyes. Time to give four eyes what's for. Maybe get the pistol rip ready. Oh, strict. Gonna get on it. Who else we got? That's it. Pain is fucking bugging out. Belakez. Sleeping. Where's Pete? Look at Pete involved here. Can Pete fight? Oh, Pete can fight like hell. We need a, we need a good weapon for Pete, though. Pete got no good weapon. Maybe this club? Oh, shit. <laughs> Note to self. Don't keep the prisoner in the room with all the weapons. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Fucking four eyes. Get him, Pete. Pete, get him. Pete, watch out for the gun. Pete. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, we killed four eyes. Damn it. Whoops. Went to a kite festival today. My legs are sore. Probably biked like 30 plus kilometers. Good God. Nice, dude. That sounds awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. A kite festival. Wow. I did see that picture you posted on Discord. That was a lot of kites. <laughs> I figured it must have been some kind of kite thing. Oh, I thought it was Prison Architect, to be honest. <laughs> uh, take that, RimWorld developers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it very much is in the style of Prison Architect. Yeah, very, very similar. Very similar. But that's fine, right? Keeping prisoners next to the weapon stockpile is a rookie move. That's okay. I don't profess to be good at this game ever and always. That's okay. We're just having fun doing that. I don't give a shit, man. Fuck, it's just a stupid game. <laughs> oh. Ah, it's okay. Who gives a shit? 
We'll figure it out. We'll remember how to play this game eventually. Eventually, someday. I mean, shit. We almost lost it a couple times, but we're still going. First crack. So far. Although we were really counting on four eyes. I was really, really banking on four eyes. Being the guy. But now, he's dead. We shot him. Right in the chest. Popped him. This trick is infected? Goodness me. Fucking hideous environment everywhere we go, too. Why ain't nobody fix fixing up Strick? Get on it, Pain. <laughs> Man's dying. Good God. Psychedelic Soothe Female. Uh, it was a great day to fly kites. All the little kids were flying them and they were going really high and stuff. Really? Nice. Oh, that sounds lovely. Fuck, man. Flying a kite. That's so far removed from <laughs> what, I, what I do on a daily basis. I forget the joy of flying a kite. The simplistic joy of flying a kite. Timeless. No? Maybe we should get into kiting. Maybe that's the key to happiness I've been missing this whole time. Let's go fly a kite, baby. Probably. I'll post a picture of the sea lion who was performing for food from the pier. It was like 350 kilogram dog begging for scraps. Oh my god. That's a big boy. Or a big girl, maybe. Though, no. the sea lions are so cute. The big ass viscous. They're so cute. Pete's working on it though, right? Why, why is no one getting rid of this last? You probably want to get rid of this carps. Gotta build some more. We'll roast all these boys up eventually. Seals are arguably the cutest animals ever. I could get behind this argument. I could probably get behind it. One of. Definitely one of. I don't know. Maybe not the cutest. There's some pretty fucking cute-ass monkeys out there, no? <laughs> I don't know. A fucking kitten is something else, too. A little kitten is just about the most goddamn cute thing ever. Mainly because they, like, interact with you and shit. But on, like, a purely physical basis. It's tough. It's tough. They are pretty fucking cute. A baby seal? Get out of here. That's it. Baby seal's probably the winner. They're so cute. Maybe. Little bubby seal? A bubby seal? No? Who went on to grow up and sing the classic tune... Kiss, kiss by a rose? <laughs> I think it was Kiss by a Rose. Oh, man. Classic. Is he dead? Seal? <laughs> Hold on. No, he's still going. 57 years old. Holy shit. Classic. We're in, like, the old seal phase of life. Okay. New lovers! Pain tried to romance Velakez by making an observation about primitives. Velakez became aroused. Nice. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? Still no babies in this game. Is everyone just sterile? I would have thought that would have been like maybe one of the first DLCs. It would be cool if they did have reproduction. No? I guess it kind of goes against the whole point. You're trying to get off the planet, not like plant roots. I don't know. No? <laughs> Maybe. Copy these. Give him a paste. 
right? You, you guys got to get rid of this body. <laughs> it's got to go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Losing their fucking minds. Quest active cache of goodies. We have a lot of sea lions and seal here. The seal lions are really noisy. Nice. Oh man, you, you gotta go like marine land to see them here. And even then, they're probably they're probably just like crying out in agony. Get me out of here. Loving fennec foxes. They're so cute though. Thank God we have the internet. Just look at pictures. Where are you from? It's cool you can find them just out and about. Los Angeles, baby! US of A. Bulk goods trader. Hello. Where's the trader boy? The puppy. <laughs> Crocodiles is having to sleep out here? I think that's our trader. We could be trading with him if he's sleeping. It is, it is the trader. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, we'll have to wait for her to catch up. God. Babies would be weird because they'd be killed in gruesome ways. Probably seem too twisted. There are mods that let you have kids in RimWorld, though. It would be weird, but, like, at the same time. I don't know. Kind of makes sense. <laughs> I mean, a bunch of peaceful people isolated on a planet. Nothing better to do but fuck all day. Well, like I said, maybe they're, maybe they're sterile, right? I know, but... It's gotta be a way, no? Ambrosia sprout, nice. Maybe you gotta make like a fucking like safe, right? <laughs> like a vault or something. You basically keep the kids in there. There you go. I guess there's mods. Well, I'm not gonna do that shit. I wanna play some person's half cocked attempt at being a room world developer. I want the real guys. The one the ones! The guys that know what's up! They know how the whole fucking thing works behind the scenes. I want them to do it. Do it right. Maybe, probably not. My dumbass power went out just at my computer for like three seconds. My dumbass power. Jesus. You're gonna have to educate your power. Teach it to not go out. Dumbass power. Fucking idiot. Stupid fucking idiot power. <laughs> that sucks, man. Well, hopefully, thanks to you, it was just like three seconds. Oh, you hate when it goes out for like two days and like, you know, by like the end of the second day, you're like, is this, is this the apocalypse? <laughs> oh, am I, am, am I apocalypsing? Here we go. Two days? I think the longest it's ever been out for me is about, what's it called? A couple of, uh, six, seven hours. There was like a period in 2003 where it was out for like two and a half days in Ontario. At least the city I lived in. But I was in Quebec. <laughs> and completely unaffected by it. So I didn't even get to experience it. Suck. Oh. That always scares me to death that it's going to fuck over my operating system. Unclean shutdown at all. Really? Fuck, man. Really? I don't know. I used to get really scared about that. But I guess it, it's never a good thing. But still. I'd like to think they're, they're pretty reliable. Most OSs now. For not fucking you over when that happens. But. It does happen. You hate when you see that blue screen, right? <laughs> it starts, it looks like it's almost like, like what, you're getting like Russian malware taken over you or something like that. <laughs> something like that. Ransomware. Oh. Something like that. And you're like, oh no, wait. <laughs> Windows is just dying. I hate when I have Sony Vegas is open and the power goes off. Oh, and you lose, you lose all your, your work. Yeah, okay, that's a bitch. They don't have auto save on Sony Vegas, Mike. That's what happened to me before my last computer. On my last computer, a few times. It happened to you. It actually happened to you. Holy shit. I feel like I haven't had that happen to me since, like, like Windows what, XP, probably. The early days of Windows XP, probably when I had, like, a bogus copy, too. But ever since I've had, like, legit Windows, it's been okay. It is just a roll of the dice, though. Huh? Do you have, like, a, you have a surge protector, Benzel? Then again, it's more just windows. It's not so much the components, I guess you're talking about. No? Maybe not. 
I don't know. I do. So that's not it. Yeah. I just think it maybe it's like fucking up your hard drive or something like that. That's not it. Just bad luck, I guess. Ain't not much you can do about that. No. Do we want to sell the alpaca? And maybe get some goats? <gasps> There's ducks! <laughs> we can get ducks! Wow. Oh, you know what that means, right? We can also buy duck meat. Ooh. I mean, the fucking goats are pretty pricey. You know? Look at all this motherfucking sheep wool. Are you kidding me? Okay, we'll do it. We'll buy some goats. We'll sell the alpaca. Nice. Guinea pig fur? Gone. <laughs> we'll keep the panther fur? No, that shit. Wow. It sells for a lot of money, too. Wow. Wow. Wood? We'll keep the wood. Yeah, we could do pretty well here, actually. Light leather? Get out of here. Pig skin? Fuck right off. Bird skin? Audi! Alpaca wood? Wool? <laughs> we'll sell it. Right. Duck? Duck? I know, I want the duck. I want a male duck, though. I just don't... I don't want a lady duck. I want... And I don't just want a male duck, either. I want a package deal. Gotta be a package deal. We'll wait. Maybe we'll get lucky with the ducks. Maybe? Okay, we don't want to sell too much of this shit. Beep, beep, beep. Wow, look at all this food, baby. Beautiful. We even got some uh, meat here. Delicious. All right, we'll fucking do this one. Nice. A solid transaction all around, if I may say so myself. Not too shabby. Probably pick some berries. Just to build up the uh, the old stores. Oh my god, we gotta start hauling all this shit. We should get someone on the hauling beat. Maybe a old Strickerino here. Fuck my face, he cannot haul. Shit. It'd be funny if the geese in the new room were... Oh, there's geese? I didn't know that. Nice. We'll have to find a geese now. It'd be funny if the geese in room world got in your way and messed with your stuff. Okay, no... Don't, don't! Spoil. No spoilers. <laughs> I want to find... What else did they add? Spoiler. I might as well spoil it all now, no? Maybe. We've just been kind of finding new stuff. It's been nice. I haven't played this game too in like... Well, I guess they really haven't updated it. Right? This is like the first proper update since it actually came out like a year and a half ago. So I haven't, there is, I'm not really missing anything new. It's all new. What? There's goats? There's, there's, we found like another new animal too. They must have added quite a few of them. Or did we kill them all? Guinea pigs! That's what it was. There's fucking guinea pigs, right? Totally cool. Totally cool. Oh god. If we see any fucking geese, we are murdering them. Kill on sight. We've got geese on KOS, okay boys? Spread the word. Geese, KOS, please. We're not fucking around when it comes to the geese. What about the panthers? Should we kill these bitches? Monkeys, I'm afraid the monkeys are gonna lose it. No, I remember one time when I was a Babby Wormwell player, I had like too many chickens. Yeah, I didn't know about animal areas, which I guess are now areas. I was paying attention that my all my chickens ran in my fridge and ate all my meats and my colony collapsed. Yep. Oh, that happened to a few of mine. <laughs> we didn't learn the lesson on that one. We've had a few. We've had a few uh, chickens. What was another one we got killed by? Buffaloes. They fucking just tore through my food stocks. What was another one? Maybe elephants. I think elephants fucking nailed us once too. One or two of those, I think we were able to go back through, like, the power of auto saves <laughs> and fucking salvage it. But, yeah, you got to watch that shit. As soon as you get some serious animal uh, numbers in your colony, you got to take care of them. Just put them in a barn. you got to make a barn, make them stay in there. Keep, like, two or three roaming around. Oh, my God. First rule of survival, Benzel, never turn your back to chickens. Exactly. Chickens are responsible for the collapse of the Holy Roman Empire. Fuck. Chickens, two. Humanity, zero. Wow, look at that one. The 
the Holy Roman Empire and Benzel Morphine's colony. I mean, they're just racking up the kills. Oh, a limestone meteorite. Nice. We did need that one. Should we go for the microelectronics? I don't know if we're really there yet. Noble apparel. We probably get a, gotta get all this shit, right? What about the medicine? Uh, medicine production. Okay, we gotta do this one. We'll do it. And then we'll get a big, big strongman research bench. Oh, what a sexist. We're gonna have to move all this back, I think, too. Oh, we're doing all right now with the solar panels. It's really helping out the power situation. Nice. So I was shitting on uh, chickens in a previous stream, saying they were failed dinosaurs. I hold a grudge. I have rightly so, man. To this day, I do not get chickens in my in my colonies. I just do not get them. Because they breed so fucking fast. <laughs> they just... They fuck like bunnies, those things. Jesus Christ. No, but it's a shame. I love cooking with chicken eggs. But I just... I cannot do the chickens. Eventually, we just kill them all off. We get too many chickens. We take a look at ourselves in the mirror. And we just slaughter them all. And eat chicken wings for the next 65 days. It's usually how it goes in the old rim world. Maybe we should get the little prison room down here. We ain't got nothing else going on down here. It doesn't seem like this shit's getting built up. We don't have any goddamn granite walls. We gotta get some more... Granite. That stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. That's granite too, right? That's cheese. Oh! But look at that one. Wow. Look at that. Oof. What's this one? Is this more iron? No silver. <gasps> Cash money madness. Okay, we do not want to get that one quite yet. We don't want to get too rich too quick here. Fucking chickens. If you ever see me start getting chickens, don't let me get carried away, okay? We're gonna slaughter them en masse, promise. We'll like announce it on Twitter and everything, it'll be great. Where's the Lekez off to? She's taking care of all this shit. What's happening in this game? I'm trying to understand. But is there a goal? Do you just play until you get bored? Well, that's pretty much how I'm playing this playthrough. My goal right now is to make the sweetest, most badass motherfucking drug production facility this rim world shithole has ever seen. That's pretty much what I'm up to. But normally you're trying to like work your way up to finding a way off the planet. And there's like a couple, a few different ways now with the new DLC. There's like three different ways you can get off the planet. But you've crash landed here or you're a lost tribes people that are trying to get off the planet. You're just trying to blast off. And you're trying to survive micromanage your colonists, take care of your colony's needs until then. Pray that they don't punch holes through your fucking walls and break your fucking vents and be all around dinguses. And so like all these peons, they all have like different stats, they have different uh, like they're, they're affected by backgrounds, randomly generated backgrounds, randomly generated personalities. This is a tortured artist who's also a teetotaler, capable of caring or being social. Wow, what a fucking waste of space. <laughs> There's a lot to it. It's basically like, I think the way they pitch it is it's a storytelling generator. Like it just kind of, you, you've got your little end goal. They throw a bunch of systems together. It kind of works like uh, Left 4 Dead in that there's like an AI director behind the scenes like controlling the flow of events kind of thing and it just kind of creates a bunch of emerging storytelling and it's cool because you feel like you know even though i'm pretty sure like at every scenario by this point statistically speaking just about every scenario you can come across in this game this probably kind of happened maybe not so much after the dlc but still you feel like the entire time you're playing the game you're like oh wow like no one's probably ever seen this before no one's ever done this before you know, that's crazy how that happened. How could that ever happen? You know, it's just shit like that. It's cool. I like the cell meth route more than survival route of winning. That's pretty much, it's pretty much the plan right now. Just make a bunch of drugs and then maybe when we've had enough, just let everyone go wild, right? Just, you know, get them all fucking rip shit stoned and uh, see how long they last. Maybe. 
Maybe that's just the way it'll go. That was slow, slow burnout, right? And then we'll have like the big message at the end of the stream. Like that's why you don't do drugs, kids. That's why you keep it straight. No. Maybe. Meth? I didn't say anything about selling it. <laughs> Are we going to sell? I guess we're going to sell it. We got to sell it for like sustenance, right? Probably. We do want to like hoard it on mass. Like I want to have like vast quantities of all kinds of drugs. Oh, well, that's that's pretty much the plan. <laughs> pretty much. Mainly it's because it's something I've never really done in the game. That's one reason. Also because I'm pretty sure it's only going to lead to hilarity at some point. And by hilarity, I mean my slow suffering. But, you know, it's pretty much one and the same at this game. Oh, fuck, those floors are all smoothed out now? Nice. Just missing some limestone here, right? Is it marble? It's marble. Yeah, we gotta start chip-chopping some more marble here. Ooh! Maybe we could just take this all apart. I forgot we had to do this. Shit. Order structure? F furniture? Furniture. We'll do this, right? Oh. It's all this shit here. Cargo pod full of clothes. Alright, maybe it was a person. <laughs> we stripped them? And then they died? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> If you give chicken, guess what I'm eating right now? Steak? Pork. KFC? What are you eating right now? Popeyes? Popeye chicken? Chicken burrito? Fish tacos, baby! See, I knew it was something. It was, I knew it was a fucking subversion. No, you fucking hipster. Jesus. <laughs> nice! Oh shit, that sounds delicious. Fish tacos. I love seafood wrap type food. Whether it be burritos tacos fajitas as long as it involves fish various sauces and or toppings in some kind of wrap like device I'm, I'm down jk it's barbecue chicken fuck's sake son of a bitch got us wow jk's barbecue chicken got me all salivating now over fish tacos and we've taken a hard left turn it's a barbe barbecue chickenville. Got me. Didn't see it coming. Good thing we had our seatbelt on, right? We were all buckled up. Ready to go. Can we maybe just slit this cow's throat? We got what? Oh, we do have a boy and a girl cow. <laughs> Otherwise known as a, a bull and a cow. Yeah. No, nah, boy and girl's way cooler. Uh... So hopefully they're going to start pumping out the babies. You know, they got to get a little acclimatized. Get to know each other. <gasps> we got the goat doe. And then we got the goat. Fucking right. We're going to be pumping out goats soon too. This is how we die, right? Death by goat. Okay, we'll see. Security for travelers. Go fuck yourself. We'll do it later. I was lucky enough to go on a cruise this Christmas and they had shrimp tacos. And I think they were the most delicious things I've ever eaten. <laughs> I've ever actually had. I fucking believe it, man. I goddamn believe it. Why are we milking the cows right out here? We gotta get a barn set up already, right? Holy shit. We get the barn set up in here? Maybe. I goddamn believe it, man. Do you know what do you know like what was on it? What made them like what was on it? Can you like I'm literally such a junkie, like a food junkie, like I kind of want to know like all the ingredients. If you can recall, there's usually something, just something that makes fish tacos or fish, fish fajitas or uh, burritos really, really good. Man, I've said it before on stream, but uh, this place right around the corner from me that makes really, really good uh, burritos. They have a calamari burrito. Oh, fuck. It's so good. Because it's actually pretty decent calamari, despite just being like a burrito place. It's actually pretty good. Oh, it's so delicious, though. They fry it up a little bit before. Kind of heat it up a little bit before they put it on there. Oh. No? Well, maybe it's fresh. I don't know. Fuck. Anyway, it's so delicious. They only have it at, like, I think that chain and, like, one of the other franchises, too. 
That, not that chain, that outlet, one of the other outlets in the city too. Ah, it's a good one. It's a good one. It says something about it. Nice little hot sauce on there, maybe. Fruity hot sauce to go with the fish tacos. Oh, like peach salsa or something. Oh, maybe something like that. Maybe. A good guacamole can really put them over the top too. I don't know if I'm ever going to go on a cruise. I'm, I'm, it's, where did you go? Where, where did you take your cruise? Where did you take your cruise? I don't know if I'm ever going to go on a cruise. And then, oh my God, the more I hear about cruises, the more I'm petrified of them, especially nowadays. Calamari burrito. Yeah, it's, it's actually really good. But I guess it shouldn't come as a surprise. But oh, They season it just right. It all blends together so nicely. I mean, they're definitely like Canadian burritos. I don't think it's like a real deal Mexican food kind of thing. And that's like all they make is <laughs> burritos for the most part. Or burrito bowls too, I guess. The Spanish rice, beans, salsa, and the shrimp. And some salsa was spicy, but some fancy things. I was too broke to know what they were. <laughs> no problem, man. No, that sounds good. You're I, you've painted the picture for me. I feel like a picture has been painted. And I can taste it in my mouth right now. And it tastes delicious. No, it's pretty good, man. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. Thanks. Thanks. What happened to Pete? <laughs> Did someone just punch Pete in the mouth? Food poisoning. Oh, shit. Yes, we gotta clean this place a lot more, eh? It's not really going too well here. We just need, like, one more reliable colonist. One more all-rounder, and I think we're pretty much set. Someone to, like, clean and haul shit. <laughs> a cleaner and a hauler. That's our guy. Should we make it Pete? I mean, Pete's pretty useless otherwise. Congratulations, Pete. You're moving up to the big leagues. Once you stop being infected with food poisoning. It was around Mexico. Oh, nice. Did you get to, like, uh... You know, deboard and like actually get to check out parts of Mexico. That'd be awesome. Man. I'd love, I would love to see Mexico before I die. Such a fascinating place. So much history, so much culture. And I'd love to go like from tip to tip, you know? All the way out. The little, the little pernis that sticks off the side there. I'd love to do it all someday. It's huge country. It's massive. Just feels like an excuse for... I went on a cruise once. Just feels like an excuse for ritual people to gamble away their life's earnings. <laughs> yeah, I don't... <clears throat> it's one of those things I kind of like the idea of. I just don't know if I... When I was actually on it, I don't know if I'd really like it. You know? Like, I, I think I would enjoy a resort more, even though... The older I get, the less the idea of a resort seems like something I want to really go to. I don't know. But the more I think about it, maybe not the older I get. It just it seems like everyone I talk to in Canada, like, it's all they ever do is go to fucking resorts. They never fucking, like, stay in, like, Havana or some shit. Like, I don't know why. Oh. Am I doing a wrong problem? Slaver? Oh, maybe they could sell us some people. Well, let's hope so. I wouldn't mind buying me some people. Oh. My mom loved it. She's thinking of taking my family over spring break because of how cheap they are because of the coronavirus. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! I would not be getting on a fucking cruise ship at this very moment. <laughs> Have you heard about how some of the horror stories of people trapped on those fucking things? Because they can't dock. <laughs> no, I don't know. I would not want to be trapped on one of those fucking things with like an outbreak of coronavirus. Good god almighty. Pissing and shitting all over the place. Fucking, well, granted, <laughs> thankfully. It doesn't make you piss and shit too much. It's more just like, it's like a head cold kind of thing. That leads to possible pneumonia-like sy symptoms. But still, if you're out there long enough, eventually it, it would it would start fucking overflowing. Dude, I'd love to visit Cuba. I'd love to go to Cuba. Yeah, and like, and Cuba, right? Like, I don't, you know, I wouldn't mind going to like maybe some, spend a weekend or something in some fancier parts. Well, do, do it for like a day or two. But I would firmly want to spend most of my time in Havana. Too bad I'm American. You cannot go to Cuba? Is that still a thing? I thought Barack Obama fixed that shit up, or was that one of the things Trump, he fucking undid, right? He's largely undone. 
uh, Bomba's progress on Cuba, I believe, for the most part. I'd love to go there, man. It's a beautiful country. Huh? Where's the traders? Where's the slaver? We wanna, we wanna buy people. There you are. Strick. Trade with Doogie. <laughs> oh, they are definitely selling people. Ooh, they ain't cheap though. Garbage. Plants. He's really good at planting stuff. Nonetheless, kind of garbage. A good doctor. We don't need a good researcher. Though. Oh, look at this legend. He's a little old. He's a bit of a geese. Oh my god, but he's so good in so many ways. How much is he? Fuck me. She. 2,000 bananas. That's more bananas than we can afford. We have a capybara? <laughs> okay, we'll sell our capybara. <laughs> Did not know we had a capybara. Oh, these people are too expensive, man. I can't afford these people. No? I'm a little cautious because of Corona, but my mom is saying people over 70 die from it, so we would be fine. No, dude, dude. It's it's not so much it's not so much that you would get it, it's that you would be stuck on a ship for potentially weeks. Longer than you wanted to be. <laughs> waiting to get back to land. Because everyone's sick on the ship and they don't want to like fucking have a bunch of people land. Uh, that sounds like a goddamn nightmare. People's just slowly go going squirrely and or getting sick on a ship. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe your, your mom's got the right idea. It is pretty cheap, but I don't know. I wouldn't be taking that risk at this point. And God knows how bad this thing's going to get. I'd be playing it fucking safe. You never know what's going to happen, right? Look how far we've come in the last week. It's not getting get, not getting any better, that's for sure. My favorite soccer player is Egyptian, so he probably wouldn't like me if I ever met him. So on a smaller level, I know how you feel, Benzel. It sucks that there are no, so many great places in the world that are mad at Americans. So he probably wouldn't like me if I ever met him. Oh, Pelican, don't say that, man. I, I don't know if... I mean, I th I th I'd like to think a lot of people can separate, like, Americans from... Is this guy really named TK? <laughs> Have they not named him yet? No? Oh. Trace Kami, never mind. No? They can separate, like, American fans from the, the American government, right? Just, like, like, take China, for example. I think, like... I've got a lot of fucking raised eyebrows aimed squarely at China, the government. But I think Chinese people are some of the most, you know, amazing people on this planet in, the mo in a lot of ways. What they're capable of. No? Nope. Anyway. But uh, I'm sloshed. Why? No? Nope. What happened? Your brother. You doing it? You getting nailed? <laughs> nice! Time to get on Tinder, baby. Maybe. How you doing? Poor I am Pelican. Feels bad, man. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no? Whoa, are you Benzel sloshed? I don't know. Yeah. Are you? I'm Tylenol sloshed. Oh, shit! Oh, no. <laughs> Watch out. You're in for one. Poor Pete. When will he get over this food poisoning? The base is cleanliness is relying on. Oh, Pete. No pain for you. I, I see you in a few days. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. Good luck. He did. The, granted, the man just went through a breakup. It's not easy. Snotties. Even when it's mutual. It's not easy. Me too, lol. 
Yeah, but you wanted to do it. Huh? No. You were gung-ho. Kind of. Kind of. Gung-ho? <laughs> gung that might be a bit much. No. Because of the... Uh, the batteries, right? Some, something. Ah, oh. doesn't really mean I'm like happy about it. No. So why didn't you? Why didn't you try to make it work? I, I don't. Okay. Again, I'm not really Mr. Breakup, having never really done it myself. I've only really been broken up with. No. Never. Nanner Champ. That's that's the one, boys. Nanner Champ. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's that's a solid nine out of ten banana right there too. That's a tasty one. Where's Pete? Are you hauling Pete? Ah, da boy haul. Ah, da boy. Pete, 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 Pete. We gotta make this place bigger too. To start hauling all these rocks back. Have we disabled, like, all the little ruins around here? For the most part. Oh, hello. 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 Look at all that hauling we gotta do. Wow. Okay, we'll allow it. No? Well, I don't know. Sometimes things don't work out, even if people do their best, and you cut your losses. Yeah. I probably I probably would have done well to learn that at one point in my life. <laughs> now I just spend my life terrified of getting broken up with. I mean, I'm I'm set, but I'm always like, are you good? <laughs> are we are we good? I think the lady friends like that too in some way. So it's as long as it's not like an unhealthy amount of worrying about that, I think it's a good thing for the most part. Interceptive communications indicate the item stash has been claimed by others. Oh, too bad. So fucking sad. Oh, shit. Did we, like, activate something? I don't think so, right? But that's the bad room. <laughs> that's where the bad things happen. Okay. I'm sorry, man. I'm I, like I said, I'm sorry for the breakup. That's it's rough, but I mean the fact that you were on Tinder and you're like, I got this girl's number. You seemed <laughs> pretty over it. <laughs> pretty, pretty, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're doing it. Maybe I'm just more of a sulker. No? Maybe. Probably. <laughs> Maybe? Probably. Bouncing back. It's good to bounce back, right? Never never hurts. Usually. Usually. Pete, we really don't need these animal corpses. I guess it's kind of my fault. Whatever. They'll expire eventually, right? This is unroofed out here? Yeah. I'll rot away in the sun. Eventually. Fuck. Balakez on the Holland now, too? This cannot be. Oh, yeah, she is. Well. This. Potassium. <laughs> oh, shit. That works too well. Wow. How have they not, like, slapped that on a banana? It's like some kind of fucking advertising. Shtick. Wow. You got a career in uh, advertising there, I am Pelican. No, oh, you could sell a banana to a blind man. What? A banana to a banana farmer? Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a better one. That's a better one. It took us a minute. At least we didn't think of it at like four in the morning. <laughs> oh, pretty close. Pretty, pretty, pretty good drop time. Possible. Oh no. 
Boom rats. Boomalopes? Not boom rats. What, what game do they call boom rats? Oh, no, you can have boom rats, right? These are boomalopes? Of course, boom rats. Both, right? There's both. Eh? Gotta haul all this shit back, too. Not so much the animal corpses, boys. More of the steel. Eh? Get a floor in here, too. Why don't you make this out of wood? Probably. How are we doing on stone blocks? Slate blocks. No granite, though. We need granite blocks. Oh, that's right. We needed a stone cutter's table. Oh, we got the milk now. I forgot from the cows, right? Oh, lovely. We can put the milk in here. It doesn't get frozen. Perfect. Got the herbal meds now, too. Pretty decent supply of them at that. What's up, Marv? Hey, how you doing, man? Hello, I... How you doing? Good? What is crackle like? Pain! Probably should get him a chair. Dining chair? Or do we get a, can we get him like a super comfy chair? What the fuck? What was that? Earth-shattering event. The world just shook. Was it this capybara going mad? Oh no. We are about to be assaulted by two capybaras. Okay, we will have to defend ourselves. From the onslaught of capybaras. Pete, you need a weapon. Fuck, the melee weapons are all garbaggio. That's ranged, right? Yeah. Get the club? 18% though. Time to kill some capybaras. Should we get maybe behind these trees here? Where are they coming from? I don't know where they're there. They're fine. Okay, Pete, you got your knife? That a boy. Good job, Pete. Cows, you stay back. Bellaquez, you as well. Pete, back. We'll only get them involved when needed. Oh no, not my cows! You stay away from my cows, you capybara bastards. What the fuck is that one doing? Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh! Slaughter him! Oh no! Pete's down! Did we shoot Pete in the ass? No, Pete took like one hit from that capybara. And he was down. Like you've been waiting for. Hello, hi! We managed to survive an onslaught by the capybaras. <laughs> Pete, no! It's okay. Pete's okay. I'm pretty sure when Pete blows up, or dies rather, he's just gonna blow up into a pool of acid? <laughs> we'll have to keep an eye on that one. I'm a little worried about that one. We'll see how Pete does. Oh, never mind. He isn't dead. No, he's not dead, thankfully. Not dead quite. Not not, not quite. He just... He took, like, one hit from that capybara. I guess he's a bit of an old fella. And he just hit the floor. He was down. The fucking soccer dived. <laughs> oh, Pete. Poor lad. We need a little bit more steel. No. What's this steel sarcophagus? Oh, what the fuck? We don't want that one. That's right, we gotta get the stone cutting table. That's gonna be the big
big difference maker here. How are we doing on steel anyway? 1,000! Wow! Strick is going to hide in our communal bedroom here. That's no good. I'm thinking maybe we should build the bedrooms over here, right? Like, did we want to come out this way? I think we did. Right? We wanted to wall this all off. Or are we going to build more down here? Now, this is right towards the edge of the map. We can wall that off there. Wall it here. It's a big one, though. Or maybe one like that. An even bigger one. But one we need nonetheless. Right? And then, whoosh, wall that sucker. Wall that sucker. And then wall that sucker. And that'll be all the walls sucked. No? Is your hair different today? It seems longer. Maybe it's just the way you styled it. It's, uh, it wasn't parting on the right way. It wasn't, it wasn't parting the right way. So we had to part it on this side. Part it on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. Well, maybe we can, uh. <laughs> I think we can fix it though, right? Can we? No? <laughs> Does that fix it? Yeah, now it's on the right side, right? No? Nope. Oh, no, it's still on the wrong side. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nailed. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, maybe just. Just maybe. Uh, like that? No. <laughs> How do we. There's, uh, there's gotta be a way, right? Uh, <laughs> that's the one. Home? Uh, see? There we go. Home sweet home, right? <laughs> home sweet home. No? No? <laughs> Fuck. Now we gotta fucking fix it. Hold on. <laughs> How do I do this? The joke is not paying off. Transport. Yeah, it's better. Dang, now you're dripping swag. Like a broken faucet. Nice. <laughs> dripping swag. Like a broken faucet. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to say thank you. <laughs> to that one. In the hopes that it was indeed a compliment. We'll remove these. Oh, that's right. The stone floors. The eighth wonder of the world. Stone floors. Wow. Steel floor. Is that a steel floor? Get out of here. No, it's not. <laughs> it is not. I don't think you can make a steel pot. Yeah, you can. It's called concrete. Or steel tile. Shit. Cargo pots! Mad tortoise! Oh, it's all happening, boys. Pete! <laughs> Pete, watch out! Pete! You gotta go! <laughs> Fuck, stupid Pete. Fuck, you are stupid. Okay. Uh, we need someone with a pistol, too. Pain? I guess pain. Velikis, stand back. That tortoise could do some real damage if you're not careful. What's this one? Ooh! A bunch of rice. We'll take it. Malakas! <laughs> Stand your ground. This is our Independence Day. I 
I mean, you kind of deserve to die at this point, Pain. Pain. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Jesus, this thing can take a look at and keep on ticking, eh? Got it. Stabbed it right in the ass. Done so. Whew. All right, everyone. Have a good night. I have to sleep because apparently sleeping is necessary and uh, healthy. <laughs> boomers, am I right? <laughs> Better listen to them boomers, right? They're not all okay, boomer, and all the time. Okay, have a good sleep, Pelican. No, you'll thank yourself later, man. Trust me. Like, good sleep can go a long way. Some of my best days in life have been preceded by a good sleep. Yeah. Pff, the heck? <laughs> The heck? Good night, bye! I know, seriously. Get with it, boomer. No, staying up to 2 a.m. looking at Instagram is is what everyone does these days. No, get out of here. Get on WhatsApp, loser. Get on Snapchat, loser. No, I don't know. Bye! Pee pee licking, bye. Have a good one. Tulu, bye. Tortoises can mess you up their OP in RimWorlds. OP. If they get to you, I guess, maybe. If you let them actually get to you, they'll bite your fucking ankles off. <laughs> as long as you stay one step ahead. Hopefully you're okay. Is that how it goes? I don't know if I've ever... I think I could, I'd like to think I have not been taken down by rabid tortoises before, although it may or may not have been a problem at some point. I would not be surprised. I think we're ready for a bit more of a wood chop here, too. How much wood could a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop wood? This one? We'll get that one there. Ooh, what's this? A dead chinchilla! We'll take it. Probably eaten by a panther? <laughs> Probably. Yikes. We got some panthers we gotta kill for sure. Do we want to set up a door here? We kind of did want to set up a little door here, right? Not before we set up some more bedrooms, though. Bedrooms right up against the freezer? I mean, why not? We do need some more bedrooms. Marble? We need more marble, too. Mother of mercy. We got more limestone than anything. Why don't we get a woodcutter's table? Production. Where is it? Art bench? No, stonecutter's table, right? That's the one. We'll move this mother sucker right over there. Nice. And then we gotta definitely get some, some bedrooms going here. We got some slate blocks. We want the slate for this though, right? Oh, that's granite. Fuck. Tula by! So, what do we want to primarily build the base out of? Marble? Why don't we fucking make it marble, right? Marble looks awesome. Is marble, like, flammable? I don't think so. All these stone walls, they're pretty resilient to the fire. Last I checked. Do. Until you have... 210. Oh, shit. 200. Hey, forget about it. They want to go down to 100, right? Okay, no, we'll do 200. Hey, forget about it. Look at Pete fucking hauling away. You gotta start cleaning up a little bit though, Pete. We're looking more at the cleaning at this point. There's been puke on this floor for like two months now. Shit. Stone, but stone isn't flammable, but steel is. Oh, fuck. No? Well, I mean, it did It did take down World Trade Center 7. I mean, uh, <laughs> Anyway. Allegedly. Allegedly. No? No? <laughs> Those flames. Four by five? Or we want to go five by five, right? Too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> It'll be too soon for the next, uh, what, two, three hundred years until everyone involved is, is dead. Uh, let's deconstruct mine this all up. Yeah. Mine it, mine it, mine it. Mine. Crisper looking like a band member of my Canadian romance. Fuck, is it really up? <laughs> The hair was not cooperating, okay? <laughs> it was not cooperating. We had to part it out twice. Hi, Mr. Funk Master, living it up. Well, we can't all be living it up like fucking, what's it called? Oh, 
insert Vegas crooner here. Wayne Newton. We can't all be living it up like Wayne Newton every night, Mr. Funkmaster. How's Wayne Newton doing? Hopefully good. Hi, Mr. Funkmaster. How you doing? Are you back? Have you made it back from the land of Corona? Hopefully. I'm pretty sure everyone in Vegas has got Corona at this point. Oh, last I checked. Hi, man. What's up? Hello, hi. My Canadian Romance. Nice. <laughs> The CanCon version of My Chemical Romance. I love it. What's up, man? Nice to see it. How chooch did you get? How chooch? Yeah, on a scale to, uh, on a scale of one to fucking chooched. How chooch did you get? Be honest. Right chooched. Proper chooched. <laughs> Tomorrow I get back. He's still choochin'. There's still choochin' left to do. <laughs> nice. Holy, hopefully fucking chooch. Marriage is on. Balakez in pain. No babies, but the marriage is on. Pete is wandering around a psychotic state. It's happened because of poor mood. Fuck. Recreation starved. Ah, shit. Pete. I know what you mean, man. You only got this one little horseshoe pin. And even then, it's kind of insulting how much we blocked it in. Why don't we build this horseshoe pin maybe down here, Ski? Ah, oh, no. It's still fucking trees and shit all over the place. <laughs> I didn't realize the horseshoe pin could get blocked. Okay, we'll put it out here for old, old buddy boy there. There you go, fucker. Oh. <laughs> on a scale of one to Benzel Chooch, did you get? <laughs> Benzel Chooch, oh my god. No. Nope. He wouldn't be coming home tomorrow if he was Benzel Chooched. Microelectronics? We got it, right? Let's say 14 grams in 13 hours. Chooch. Jeez, not too bad, boys. Not too bad. <laughs> not too shabby. And he's not even talking about cannabis. Wow. Oh, no, it's good. Oh. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. That's pretty good. That's... That's you're surely not vaping. That's got to be blunted. No? There must be blunts involved at that level. <laughs> a lot of dope for half a day. Probably. Solid chooch. That's a pretty solid chooch in. I don't know if you can ever get like <laughs> fucking chooched on just just the green, but if you start mixing other stuff in there, you'll <laughs> get more chooched than you've ever chooched before. I don't know what I'm talking about. Twenty nine joints. Twenty nine joints. One for every hour of the day. Holy shit! A new quest has become active. It is called Beans's Rescue. You want to go get beans? There may be an unknown threat. Jump to incapacitated refugee. Who who at? Where are you at? You're so far away. We're not coming to get you. It'll take us 15 days just to fucking get to you. She's in like the desert too, right? Oh, shrubland. Okay, that's not too bad. 29 joints. Goints, as my friends and I just once called them. In a really stupid way now that I reflect upon it. Do we really not really not have any of this? No stone cutters. I guess we only got like one crafter, right? Two crafters. Pete and Vatakez. But Vatakez is too busy doing like everything else. I cry. Five by six, right? That's what we're doing. We're making big old dirty rooms here. No? Huh? Catatonic! Ah, shit. We were hoping Balakes was gonna get some shit done. Ah, she's about to get married, too. <laughs> oh, fuck. I think she might be having second thoughts. I remember yesterday, except for going pork ramen at Momofuku. Oh, nice. Which is owned, yes, by David Chang, if you're familiar with Chef. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got a Momofuku here in uh, Toronto. Me and the lady friend have long meant to go. Fuck, I've only really had, like, my first proper bowl of ramen a few months ago. 
I was like, I was always like, ah, what's the big fucking deal? God damn, it was amazing. It was actually really, really good. Best fucking soup I think I ever had. Jesus. Key Imperial outpost containing items. Mainly because it wasn't so much soup as just a bunch of food. Like food you would eat on a plate just thrown into soup <laughs> instead of put onto a plate. That's my kind of soup. No, it was really good. It would be a pretty lit experience to get high with Funk, Crisper, and Benzel. Ah, oh, that's the thing. Benzel doesn't get high. He doesn't get high. He'll, he'll get chooched in his own way. And then the three of us will just mull how we're going <laughs> to take care of him, maybe. That's nah, okay. No? <laughs> maybe. 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 Yeah, man. That was, was it good? It was, does it live up to the height, the Momofuku? I mean, that picture you shared in your Discord was fucking legit. It looked proper. There was like half a fucking pig in there. Right? There was a big old fucking pork chop just sitting right in there. It looked delicious. The dessert. You failed. Whoops. <laughs> you fucked it. Whoops. Maybe one day? Maybe. I tell you, the, the CRISPR convention will have to be in Canada if that's the case. <laughs> oh, for sure. And then no one will come. Should we get a door here? A wooden door? We'll get it like that, right? You tried it, Benzel. I don't, I don't know how much I should say, but uh, from my recollection, he has tried it and he just doesn't really click with it. And I've known people that are like that, right? Like they, for whatever reason, they just they just do not like it. It just gives them, gives them the wrong kind of buzz. And I totally respect that. It's not for everyone. I know some people get like super friggin' paranoid. I think Benzel just had like a couple of really bad experiences with it. I used to smoke occasionally, but I stopped in 2013. Messes with my anxiety. Trust me, I'd rather smoke weed than drink if I could. It's too bad, man. Too bad. So much cheaper. To, well, it's not really cheaper. <laughs> can be, if you know the right people. It was amazing. I also got pork bun dumplings. Fucking right. I love pork buns. They were fucking good, too. It sounds delicious, dude. I've always heard that's one thing Vegas does really well, right? Like, they got a really good, they got good food out there. Well, because it's such a tourist trap, right? Like, everyone wants to fucking have a good meal while they're out. Everyone's eating out every night. That's great, man. I, that's probably the main reason I'd want to go. More just eating five meals a day rather than gambling all day. <laughs> That'd probably be my main reason. No? Maybe. Not much of a gambler. I don't know. I don't, I don't like it, man. It freaks me out. I have a couple of friends that uh, get paranoid when they smoke. Yeah, I, 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 some, I've known some people too. They just, they hate it, man. It just drives them nuts. They, they, it takes like days for them to recover. Although one person oddly found that like eating edibles was way better. It was fine. They weren't really phased by it at all. For whatever reason. I don't care about clubbing and gambling. All I do is smoke and eat food. Yeah, man. That's that's pretty much all I'd be fucking doing. I forget it's legal there. I wouldn't be able to bring anything, but I could uh, certainly procure it while in the neighborhood. No? How is, uh, how is the offerings? The uh, herbal offerings. How are they? How do they stack up? I think you said you've been to, like, Cali before, right? How does it stack up? Pretty good. Is it good pricing? I mean, I don't think it's ever going to be as good as the black market, but still. Can we talk about the black market? <laughs> I don't think we can talk about the black market. I don't think that's allowed. No? Sorry, Jeff. Jeff. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Research. I've kind of dropped the ball now. Who wants it? We need a much better research table. That's right. Geothermal power. Yeah, we should probably get that fucker going. No? Yeah, and it's happened too many times to do it again. That's too bad, man. That sucks. It sucks. I know I totally respect it, right? Like, I the first couple times I did it, I felt the same way. I was like, I don't like it, man. It makes me feel really fucking weird, really fucking, like, spinny and stuff. And then I realized I was drunk as shit the <laughs> first, like, three or four times I tried it. And then when I tried it, like, all on its own, it was like fucking love at first toke, baby. No, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Not for everyone, but... Ah! <laughs> it's good for you. Oh! 
Probably not good for you. <laughs> I'm no doctor. Oh. All I did was smoke and eat food. That sounds fucking lovely, man. Fucking lovely. I don't know if the lady friend ever wants to go to Vegas. I think it might be a bit... I mean, probably be a bit too much for me at times, too. I hear it's just like, no matter what time of year you go, what time of week, it's just constantly fucking busy. Constantly. <laughs> Imagine living there, man. Living in Las Vegas and just being surrounded by that all the fucking time. Random fucking people from all over the world just in your neighborhood all the fucking time. I don't know, man. Went to a dispensary that wasn't too bad at all. I ordered my phone and then picked up at some pretty decent sativa. Ordered my phone. That's decent. Nice, man. Sativa. I don't know. If you if you got me to smoke two different strains and then told me to pick which is which, I'd never be able to tell you which is which. <laughs> I never really got the whole sativa indica thing. For the most part. It's like Coke and Pepsi to me, you know? Well, the like Coke and Pepsi, even then, are a lot more distinguished, <laughs> I find. I don't know. Are you, like, do you have a preference, fuck? I guess sativa, maybe. No? What's, what's the adage, right? Like, indica is, like... It's like couch lock or something, and sativa is more like, like body body buzz. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Pepsi is obviously better. Pepsi's not. How the f Pepsi's obviously bad. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, <laughs> did that work? Hopefully that works. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. What are you going to tell me next? That uh, Miracle Whip is good? Get out of here. <laughs> no, love you. Oh, I hope I didn't actually ban Benzel, right? Bye, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for being the truth teller around here. Yeah, that's what you get. Take your take your dirty lies and propaganda and find another audience. No? No, just kidding. Love you, Benzel. Don't leave. <laughs> Please. I make a joke. I make a funny joke. <laughs> Oh, what was that? <laughs> Shit's blown up. Fucking zit. We just got sleep the night away? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, the steel's on fire. Too soon. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What did we lose? Just some wires. Not too bad. Oh, and uh, <laughs> a table as well. It's okay. We had we literally had not used that at all. Do we have the auto repair shit on? We gotta get that fucking thing going, right? Yeah, that's a legend. She's a beauty. Production. Hand tailor. Huh? Hashtag McDonald's Sprite the best. Fuck, man. I, an argument can be made for Sprite. No? It really does. More than just about any other sort of drink. Wash down a burger. Quite excellent. I like both depending on the mood. Generally sativa for the day, and then indica at night before bed. I smoke all day, though. Helps you stay off a million antidepressants. Yeah, I'd fight. yeah, fucking right, man. Exactly. Way better for you. And you know what ain't gonna fuck you up as much as that shit, because it's from the earth. From the earth. Like the Lord intended. <laughs> oh. One of God's many beautiful creations. Right up there with capybaras and... Genocide. I don't know if that's one of the <laughs> beautiful creations. But one of his creations nonetheless. Murderous rage! Strick has flown into a murderous rage. He's decided to kill Vasquez. Velaquez. Strick, you motherfucker. Son of a bitch. What a fucking punk. God damn it. 
Okay, so we need to move all the fucking guns and shit now, right? Punk ass motherfucker. In here? It's like 6,000 degrees in here. It's fine, though. Weapons. Apparel. Yeah. Well, well, we can leave the apparel in the other one. You there. Weapons. Fuck. Now we're down to three. Shit. What is this? Looks like Prison Architect with Kaz. You never seen Rimbo before? Fuck bastard? <laughs> it does look a lot like Prison Architect. I, I'm surprised they even managed to get away with how much they basically stole the design of RimWorld. Or, uh, Prison Architect. I don't know what came first, but I'm pretty sure it was Prison Architect. By, like, years, too. But it was kind of, like, close to each other. Nonetheless, it's like a colony management game called RimWorld. It's actually a lot of fun. You've never, if you've never played it, played it before, you might like it. You actually might like it. There's like elements of XCOM in there. The same kind of fucking ball ache that XCOM gives me. It gives me the same kind of ball ache this game. Kevin the Myth, the legend, lazy monkey. Hashtag never forget. He knows. Kevin, what a fucking legend. God bless that man. <laughs> What's up, lazy monkey? Ha! Hello, hi! How you doing? So basically, you just you set up a colony of people and you try to work your way up to blasting off into outer space onto bigger and better adventures. We need to haul some fucking marble blocks back, right? Yeah! Zombie monkey after the long double. Brutal. Or you get sidetracked along the way with something random and die horribly. That's often how she goes too, sadly. Hello, hi! Nice monkey. What's up, man? Who's this? It's not one of my guys, right? No. We are due. We are due for a new friend, though. It's been a long time since we had a new friend. Just a wandering traveler, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it. I was hoping they would, like, stick around and stay a while and listen. Sadly, no. We're almost out of meat, too. Shit. What's this? Insect jelly. We'll take it. Not too shabby. We almost... Need to expand this out in a big way here. We're kind of hurting on the freezer here. It's not good. I mean, it's a lot of food for the winter, but there is no winter. It's like a permanent summer in this jungle, right? We'll get it up. Christmas channeling Deckard Cane! Yeah. Need to work on that Deckard Cane voice, I think. Stay a while and listen. Oh, I used to be able to do a Deckard Cane, but I think as I've aged, I've slowly lost it. <laughs> Sadly. Stay a while and listen. Ah, fuck, man. I, was, I just played the shit out of Diablo 3 again not that long ago. It's, fuck, it's such a great game. They, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the way that play a very a game very similar to WoW without playing WoW. Something like that. I don't know what it is. My fuck, it's so much fun. I, can't, I don't know why, but I keep finding myself coming back to it. Year after year. Bobby time, baby. They're going to pop any day now. Kill this fucking capybara. Just eat my goddamn food. Done. Borderlands better than Diablo? I disagree. <laughs> I'm dying. I don't even really feel any desire to play Borderlands 3 after all this time. I don't I don't really know. I think I like the tone, the mood, the story of uh, Diablo better than Borderlands 3. I mean, maybe one's better than the other, but it's all subjective, right? It's all just preference. 
I don't know, man. Not really. I don't. I'm not really feeling it. What about Doom 2? Oh fuck! Jesus Christ! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No! I don't want to play Doom 2. <laughs> no! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Benzel knows. Benzel remember. Play Borderlands 2. No, I don't want to play Borderlands 2 either. Borderlands 2 is what killed it for me. I'm done. I feel like I, I've, I've, I've played all the Borderlands I ever need to, need to play again. I, I just, it just feels like such a waste of time playing that game for the, for the most part. Thoroughly, I don't find it fun. No. I don't know. I just like Blizzard's loot progression a lot better than Borderlands. Some of the guns are pretty cool, but it, like, fuck, it's a little bit of time, a little bit of time situation. The classes and sets and stuff like that in Diablo 3 make it way more fun to build, like, certain specs for a character and see how much fucking damage you can do. Oh, maybe. Oh, nice. Come up to Twitch after being off for the... Come to Twitch after being off for the weekend from work and somebody sent me a game. Neat. Humble Bundle must have been... Must have had a good deal. Time for some Duke Nukem 2. <laughs> oh, nice. Duke Nukem 2. Like the fucking side-scrolling one? <laughs> oh, my God. And it was, right? Yeah, because Duke Nukem 3D was like... That was the third game. Yeah. I used to play the shit out of Duke Nukem 2 back in the day. Fuck. Apogee Software, right? Yeah. Or was that when was that after they'd become 3D realms? Well, superior to Borderlands, possibly. There's classes and different way to play in Carol. Yes, I know. I what I'm saying, Adro, is that Blizzard does a better job at it. <laughs> the classes and the uh, the specs and texts and stuff like that are way more fun. No, especially once you get like into the set armors at uh, level 70 in Bl in uh, Diablo 3. The way, like, some of the set bonuses work, like, completely changes the way you ch you can play a character. It's a lot of fun. Eh, I'm not saying that Borderlands isn't the same thing, but to me, there's, like, maybe two, maybe three different options in, in that. Whereas, like, in Diablo 3, there's, like, at least six or seven, like, totally viable ways. And then there's countless different ways you could just mix and match different kinds of items and get it going. I don't know. It's, it's... Maybe I haven't played Borderlands 3. Maybe it's a bit more in-depth, but I'm done. I'm done with Borderlands. I don't really like uh, Gearbox as a company anymore. I'm not really keen to give them my money. I don't know. I'm done. Pouched. Finito. Like I said, I just feel like I don't need to ever play another fucking Borderlands game. I feel like I played Borderlands 2. I've probably played every Borderlands game there's ever going to be from now on. I felt the same way about the pre-sequel. I don't even want to play Tales of the Borderlands. And I'm afraid that's like one of the best fucking uh, modern adventure games you can play. It's so funny. I just I can't stand it. Done. It's too much. I don't click with it. No, it's like benzel and pot. Just do not click. The learning controls from before they were a standard side as now it's painful sometimes. Absolutely. Classics are fun, but learning controls, yeah, the old controls are a bit, uh, well, they're outdated for a reason. Right? We've evolved. We've learned. Plus, we've got more buttons on our mouses and shit like that now. We can hack it up real good. But like a lot of games, like Doom 2 or Duke Nukem 2, like I don't feel like a fucking pressing need to go back and play. Especially if I didn't really play the shit out of it back in the day, right? Like, I don't give a fuck. There's so many more better better games out. Well, there's a few games like I maybe have like some deep nostalgia for, but for the most part, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna play something modern. No, well, done. Leave it in the past. Bye. No, well, too many games, too little time. I'd be playing shit 30, 40 years old. Fuck, there are 30, 40 year old games now too. It's crazy. Oh. God, we're too old. Who needs the ranged weapon? Pete. Of course, Pete. We're still working on Strick. We need to get Strick back. He was like our top farmer. We'll get maybe Pete on the heavy SMG. That's pretty decent, actually. We got a fucking grenade launcher, too. A bad game is what entertains you at the moment, for the most part. For the most part. I'm just saying my personal preference. I don't find a lot of desire going back and playing old shit. No? 
Again, unless there's like some kind of deep nostalgic connection. I'm trying to think, like, there are any like gems that have really passed me by? Like most stuff, I'm just like, nah, I don't want to play that. <laughs> no? I feel like there's not too many games that have eluded me. I mean, that's what the streaming has been great for. It's been great to like whittle away the backlog a bit. Like some games I really wanted to play. Now I'm streaming. I've got no excuse not to. Look at that little Bobby Goat! Holy fuck, you could put him in your pocket! He's so small! But we can't let that goat die, right? I like going back and playing old shit for about an hour at a time. Not something I put much time into, but it scratches some weird mental itch. Yeah, well, I can relate to that. I can definitely relate to that. Going back, and, and maybe not even an hour a lot of the time. Like, oh, good. like I got to... Well, I got the old SNES Classic, and I'll catch myself playing that for like an hour or something like that. You know, some maybe before bed or something like that. Listen to a podcast, just fucking shoot shit. Playing to some old, some old game that, you know, I used to play on the Super Nintendo or something like that. But beyond that... <laughs> If I'm going to really, like, sink myself into gaming time, I don't want to play something. Because usually those games are so simple. Mainly because of the mechanics involved. I just want something a little bit more... I don't know. Evolved. <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. That's usually the itch I find needing scratched. Personally. That's just me, though. Everyone's different. And the limitations of technology. Exactly. Right? You can only do so much... I don't know. There's a reason that, that a lot of those kind of... That shit's been left behind, right? We don't make them like, them, like that anymore. I mean, I, I have a hard, hard time going back and watching a lot of old movies, too. Call me fucking a millennial or whatever. A lot of old movies, I'm just like, oh my god. Just fucking do a play! <laughs> just do a play! This is just a play with a bunch of people recording it. <laughs> recording it. Fuck! <laughs> I don't know, it's just a lot of fucking... Again, because of the limitations of technology and uh, what they were capable of doing with film and stuff like that too, right? Like they could only record like, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes at a time or something like that. And then they have to change the reel or something. I don't know. Something like that. Still, it's just, oh, fuck. Knowing what we know now, it's just kind of hard to go back and appreciate that shit for what it was. Unusual heat wave has happened. Too bad, so sad. We got air conditioning. We're laughing. This one here. The bedroom's pretty cool too, right? Oh. I'll have to get a vent in here. That's not looking too good. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Strick is gonna fucking go nuclear in here. Uh, we, we have to get a cooler in there. A passive cooler for Strick? We'll get him a little passive cooler. I don't know if that's really gonna do the job in such a massive room. We'll see. Prioritize cleaning vomit. Do not prioritize cleaning that vomit. <laughs> you will do that later. Why don't we take him off the hall? We kind of want to get him on the cleaning beat. Old Pete. Okay, it's keeping it cool in here. It actually is keeping it cool. Good. Ah, oh, there you go, Pete. Finally, the fucking three-month-old vomit has been taken care of. Keep at it, Pete. You're going to spend your whole fucking day <laughs> just mopping the floors. I hope you don't mind. So that's what you're doing, bud. That's what you're doing. If you use zones to restrict the animals from going through it, most of the inside cut down on the mess some. Animals increase the messiness of the room. They go into... <laughs> Thanks, man. It was fine. <laughs> we'll set that all up eventually. I'm not going to... I don't want to worry about that kind of shit too much right now. It probably should. Yeah, we'll do it later. I'm still, like, sculpting out where everything's going to go. I'm thinking we'll make, like, a barn in here. Make, like, a nice little barn in here for now. Because we can't really do much else with this one. We'll make, like, a little barn in here. And just plop him in there. But we also want him to let him get food. And we got to make kibble and shit, too. Pop it in here. Do they all... They, all the animals eat kibble, right? They fucking better. we got to start growing the hay as well. Oh, the hay. Maybe we should get, like, a line of hay right here. Zone? Zone. Shrink zone? Shrink zone. Aha. Growing zone. Yeah. We'll get some hay in here. For the animals. Fuck! <laughs> Shit. Sorry, boss. There we go. 
hey no hey stockpile zone fuck we did it okay whoops how do we shrink it there we go and we'll change it to hay grass or do we want something else here smoke leaf oh fuck we gotta get the drugs going soon too can we uh eat devil strand that's just for clothes right we can't make any drugs with that shit can we Pretty sure no. Hey. There we go. Fifth time's the charm. Every single time. <laughs> I don't know. It looked like a first try on my, on my clock. But I could be wrong. No? Probably. Man, these fucking cows are just pumping up the milk now, too. Beautiful. So where's Pete? Ah, he's still cleaning. That a boy. It's looking good here. Look at all these fucking trees we got all over the place, too. We gotta get rid of these sons of bitches. Uh, why don't we do so while also... Getting a floor going. What are we going to do for the floor? Do you want to do like a nice dark floor? We can do like the nice slate floors, right? We got slate on this map, right? Do we have slate stone on this map? Granite. That's right. We have granite, sandstone, and marble. Let's do sandstone floors. That looks like shit, though. Big ol' hot bag of shit. You need to haul these chunks, Pete. And we'll make up some granite blocks, maybe. We're making up marble blocks. Do it until you have... Eh? Eh? Yeah. Another bobby cow? Oh, shit. Oh, it's just the first bubby cow. Okay. H. I feel like they cleaned this up a little bit. This seems cleaner somehow. It still looks like garbage, but it does seem cleaner. Devil Strand is just clothing. Fuck, man. Well, that doesn't suit our purposes at all, then. We want to make the sweetest, most badass motherfucking drug lab here. That's it. Full boating blueprint. No. <laughs> Don't care. Clips? No. Please, no breaking. You two have to get married soon, too. Yeah, we need the marble blocks. Granite chunk or marble? We need marble, too, for the bricks, right? We want to make the whole base out of, like, marble brick. Do we have marble here? We do! We're not crafting. Son of a bee. Pete is like such a fucking fastidious cleaner now. What the fuck? Son of a bitch, Panther killed my bobby goat. Pete, get the machine gun. Oh, look, he's eating it up too. Enjoying the fruits of his labor. I got so much power, it's coming out of my ears. What? Oh, and are you playing Satisfactory? I hope so. Or maybe you're just feeling particularly empowered right now. <laughs> Steady. We got him. Oh. Kiki route. You son of a bitch. Ugh, need those take those conifers out or they eventually go after your critters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. We'll do it. <laughs> okay. Great. All right, then. Panther.
Should we go for this one? He's kind of far away, right? That's okay. Strict. His resistance is at zero, finally. So we can probably get him on our side soon. 63% chance to recruit him. Not the best, but we need him back desperately. Look at all this fucking farming he's got to do the minute he gets back. Come on, Strick. We're all counting on you. My fucking Pete just keeps cleaning up like the same two spots at the opposite end of the base. You're driving me nuts, Pete. <laughs> driving me nuts. Not the most efficient cleaner. Okay, Pete, why don't you get back on haul? I think you've served your purposes. Ah, we got Stricky Boy back. And a boy. And there he goes, right to friggin' farming. And a boy. Pete on the haul. And a boy. I think we do indeed have too many farms. I do declare. That or we gotta start eating more food. One of the two. If you set the critter you were murdering to be hunt target after it gets knocked out, one of your hunters would just fish off without you having to hassle with right clicking and telling them to fish it off. Okay, thanks. We'll do it. We'll do it. Why'd you go to bed? There's so much more rice. No. Oh, yeah, and satisfactory. Have you caught up, Benzel? Have you actually pretty much caught up to where I'm at? I don't know if I'm going to keep playing it. I can't, part of me wants to. I'm already feeling myself wanting to go back to it. But like, I, Then again, I just I get to the factory. I'm like, what is? what am I doing? <laughs> I'm just getting to seven, like tier seven and eight, and then the game just stops, right? Like the progression just ends. I think I'll enjoy it a lot, a lot more once it's done. Once it's, once it's like, once it's actually finished, there's like an end goal. I think that's when I'm really going to sink my teeth into it. I definitely learned a lot more. I feel like on the last playthrough about how to play the game too. I've been doing a lot of things wrong. Both it and Factorio. I've got like new approaches now. In my big dumb babby mind. We've got new approaches to those games. We'll get to them eventually. Fuck, I don't think Satisfactory is supposed to be done till. Well, they haven't even really said when. Part time. Is this the, the marriage party? I think it's just a regular plain old Jano party. They said it was going to be in early access for at least a year though. Maybe two. So I guess they got another year to go. It's, uh, Factorio should be out this fall. Sadly, like, fucking, like, five days before, what's it called? Oh, you know what? I should play that game again beforehand. Because it's going to be five days before uh, Cyberpunk. <laughs> I'll play Factorio for, like, three days, and then I will uh, not play it for, like, the next six months after I get Cyberpunk. No. Oh, we don't want to do that. I'm already seeing myself, setting myself up for disappointment. Maybe we should play that again. Great game. Maybe we'll we'll launch more than one rocket this time too. <laughs> What'll be the goal? I don't know. Arbitrarily launch two rockets, I guess. We should go back to it though. Fuck, it was fun. You better know do it if you know what's good for you. Chuchi McScookum. I I cannot promise that I'll do it. <laughs> I cannot promise that I'll do it. We'll figure it out though. It's still I'm still baby stepping my weight. Back to remembering how to play this game. It has been about a year. So many other adventures had. In that time. The colonist is assigned as a hunter but does not have a range weapon. Is it Pete again? No, it's Strick. Alright. What do we want to give Strick? The good pistol? I'm give him the good pistol. Good pistol. That's a good pistol. There we go. How long has it been since the first trailer for uh, Cyberpunk came out? It's been in dev forever. The first trailer came out, and I think they said, like, way back in the day, like, 
we're releasing this, but don't expect much more for a long time. I think it came out like back in 2012, 2013. The very first trailer. The, like the little teaser trailer that they showed at uh, E3 or something like that, or GDC, one of those big game events. With uh, what? Spider Woman, right? That iconic image. Spider Woman, yeah. So I think it was 2013. E3 2013. Because, uh, what, the, the Witcher 3 at that point was in development. But they were kind of like planting the seeds for what comes after it, right? For the most part. Fuck, man. Someone, someone was in here the other day talking about Mountain Blade 2. That's finally coming out. But it's going into, hey, I was bradding on. That's right. That's going into early access when it comes out. That's been in development for probably as long as Cyberpunk. And it's going to be in fucking early access when it comes out. I was so spurned when I learned that. You will not get my money, good sir. Mountain Blake 2 is high on my list. It's, it's goddamn pretty much at the top, honestly. I'm really, really looking forward to that. But I do not want to play some early access. I don't want to be a fucking glorified beta tester. No, I want to play it when it's done. I want to know that the game's not going to like fucking completely change next week because of some fucking patch that they're iterating upon or something like that. You know what I mean? I want it to be Diddy Done Did. So we can really sink my teeth into it. Oh, fuck. That game looks great. I really enjoyed the first one. But it's... I mean, it was six years old the minute it came out. <laughs> it was already dated the minute it came out. And it has not aged very well with time. But goddamn, if the systems at play behind the god-awful scenes aren't pretty impressive, even though, to this day. It's a, it's a great little RPG. I feel you. Not many companies do the full release thing anymore. No, fuck you, Minecraft. Fuck you right in the face, Minecraft. You have forever ruined the game industry and its fucking business models. All just glorified beta testers. Even now when stuff isn't even called early access. They look at something like No Man's Sky, right? Full title, $60 release. In a half-finished state. But it is a bit of a comeback story on that front. Okay, looks like these cats are going to rip us apart. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll meet them head on? Maybe? Are they going to go get this guinea pig first? Hopefully. Fucking look at Pete with the shotgun. I forgot. What a legend. Uh, Strick, get back. <laughs> One cat down. We're going to get Strick on the flank here. Oh, shit. Kiki route. Got him. Oof. 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 God bless CD Projekt Red for that, but fuck them for teasing for so long. Ah, it's not, not ideal. Not ideal. But I, I trust in CD Projekt Red. One of the few companies I actually have like unquestioned faith at this point in to deliver a quality product, not without questionable business, questionable business uh, practices involved, but. Uh, Nonetheless, a quality product. And if not really up to expectations, they're going to work their arses off to make sure it is. Just like they've always done. Like right back to The Witcher 1, when they released that game. The minute they released that, they got to work on the expanded edition. Which is just basically a much better version of the game they released. Instead of just moving on to Witcher 2. They, chooch, they always stick around for like a few years after development, right? And really chooch up their titles. And I, I give them credit for that. Not a lot of developers do that. Or if they do, it's mainly just to fucking sell DLC. Which isn't always the case with Witcher games. Uh, it wasn't ever the case really with Witcher games. The DLC was uh, pretty... It was all free, right? It was largely all free. Except for a couple of really big expansion packs. That are like 30, 40 hours worth of content. If not, way more. Why did we build that out there? Why? Was that a thing? Okay, looks like we actually have the makings of a fucking bedroom here. Jesus. What, do, what kind of floor do we want to give these suckers? Maybe some nice sandstone floors? Only because we have 65,000 sandstone? 200 sandstone. We don't even have enough of it. The limestone would be nice.
Or is this, this is more for like pathways and shit, right? Let's see how that looks. Okay, monkey uh, brain, no work, no more. Time for sleep later. Goodbye, lazy monkey. Tulu, bye, man. Bye. I don't expect it to have the smoothest release, but I'm really looking forward to the game release. No, exactly. I, just... I know it won't be like an early access situation. I know that much. I have faith in them that much, right? Like, they've already delayed it once, even though that's not always a sign that it'll be properly chooched. <laughs> I can't wait for Cyberpunk. I hear you, man. It's, it's definitely... Right up there with like uh, Subnautica, Below Zero, and uh, Mountain Blade 2. Those are probably my top three right now. And the immediate horizon. And of course, I'm desperately looking forward to the next follow game too. I trust uh, it's not going to be another No Man's Sky or Anthem release. Exactly. Anthem would probably be a much better comparison. I think in terms of the scale and scope of the game they're going for, Anthem would probably, yeah. It's not going to be another fucking mess. It'll be like Witcher 3, a bit rocky, but not neglectly, so bye 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 bye. No, it'll be you know, it'll definitely be a bit rough. I can anticipate. Like look at the scope that they're taking on compared to uh their last game, right? Like it's a whole different level. I mean the Witcher 3 was gorgeous, but like a lot of it was just rolling hills of the same thing. <laughs> you know? But it was packed. It was packed with like content and packed with like things to find and discover and seek out it was it's good quality game i should go back and play it again but shit every time i play it i just oh i feel like i'm starting a marathon that i don't like i somehow talk myself out of pretty quickly because i know it's such a commitment it's such a massive sprawling game to re when you really like do it all for the most part when you really take advantage of like a lot of the great little side quests and that's what the witcher 3 like is really good at even compared to stuff like Skyrim and uh, well any Bethesda game, they do the side quest stuff like just so so well. Maybe not as good as the world building as uh, Bethesda, but god damn it, the emerging story play, the emerging emerging storytelling isn't uh, isn't really really well done. You'll find like like you'll start like a little fetch quest and before you long you're fighting like a demigod. I don't know, it's it's crazy. Some of the quests they send you on, it's cool. I guess that happens in Bethesda games too. Eh, eh, not so much. <laughs> it's usually go make this thing, bring it back to me. Thanks. Go, go to this town and come back here. Eh, thanks. <laughs> it's not not the most involved stuff usually. Shit. I forgot we made like concrete floors here. Whoops. Okay, at least we're getting that steel back now. Well, man, man goddamn, we have a lot of steel as well. Jesus. A nice little setup, all things considered. We just gotta finish these floors here now, man. Come on, baby. There she goes. Balak is. Oh, we got the geothermal power. Shit, that wasn't bad. Medicine? I can't do the medicine. Yeah, that's right. We should get the improved research bench. But then again, we want to actually set up a research room before we do that, which I'm thinking will be this one once we move the beds out of here, which we can proceed to start doing. In a small way. <laughs> Just move them all in here. <laughs> we'll do it. Can we shack them up side by side? That seems like cruel and unusual treatment. Strokes mustache. I'm an oil man. Hey, you done it, boys. You fucking did he done did it. The oil. I did. I enjoyed. I liked what they did with the oil. They set it up well. There's no... I mean, apparently they're, they're still going to tweak and change it a bit. But I liked I liked what they had. I, if they've just left it as is, I would have been content. I liked how you had to balance everything out. Make a bunch of stuff to use up all the byproducts of the oil. It was. It's quite clever. And they give you options, too, for how to use up those byproducts, right? You can like you make more plastic or just whatever. More, make more rubber and stuff like that. With it. it's, it's quite clever. So it's well done. Very reminiscent of Factory Oreo, Oreo, but still. Good nonetheless. Congrats, man. What's next? Are you off to, like, the next tier now? Hopefully you're off to the next tier. 
What time is it? Fuck, we gotta get going, boys. Should we take a break or should we just get going? It's been two hours already. I don't know, what should we do? It's already 2.30, I gotta get going soon here. Uh, that's the thing with this game, time just fucking flies. Just sitting here spacing out watching these poor bastards try to survive. We've had some ups, definitely had some downs. <laughs> but we're making it work, right? Gotta start moving all these beds too. Let me get these guys a little flashlight in there too. Flashlight? Room light. And we'll make this the research room, I guess. I feel like it's not gonna be anywhere near big enough. Pete's dazed! Fuck's sake, Pete. I'm gonna figure out how I wanna get more plastic. I got 12 oil generators up and running. God damn, that's a lot of power. <laughs> that's a lot of power. I'm gonna figure out how I want to get more plastic. How I want to get more plastic. Like, use more plastic or produce more plastic? You need refineries, right? Shitload of refineries. I think. I'm sick with the flu. Oh. Nope. Produce more plastic. Raiden Kramata. Hey, uh, hi. Hi, Raiden. Hi. How are you? So. Produce more plastic. You want to produce more plastic. I, I struggled with that too. I never really seemed to have enough plastic. You need a lot of it too, right? Like later on. I kind of wished. When I. Mostly it's just annoying trying to figure out what to do with the byproducts. Well, really? You could just make plastic with the byproducts, right? How's it going, everyone? It's going pretty good, Raiden. How are you? So far? So good? I'm slowly figuring out what to do? <laughs> so far, so good. Get rid of that tattered apparel. Oh, shit. We gotta start crafting up stuff, too. Yikes. Are we gonna move these beds or what, boys? I'm gonna start moving the beds. Too much hauling. Not enough bed movement. Uh, Pete's days, that's why. We're not hauling. Hope, hope you all have a good time. Am I late? No, oh, man. You're right on time. <laughs> right on time. What else What else can you make with the byproducts? This is one other thing you can make. Right? Rubber? I thought there was something else you can make with like the purple fuel. There's some alternative recipes, too. I think there was one alternative recipe I had for making, what was it? Something. Oh yeah, the, the diluted fuel that used uh, the byproducts. Like the purple byproduct from oil processing. I thought that was kind of cool. We could just, it wasn't the most effective fuel, but it was like way fucking easier than making other kinds of fuel. Oh. Rather than setting up like a whole kind of fuel processing situation we just had a bit of a runoff and tapped into that i have worked okay okay so ish one more bed oh we can't move it because pete's fucking snoozing all day god damn it pete somehow we have not got a whole new colonist today at all what game are you playing, Crisper? Right here, Kamada, I am playing RimWorld right now. This is called RimWorld. It's a PC top-down strategy simulation game where you play a bunch of play as a bunch of space colonists trying to blast off into greener pastures. Yeah. Hopefully that uh, <laughs> clarifies it. Hope. Hopefully it's all cleared up. Oh. You never played this one? I'm surprised. I just It's one of those games I just kind of assumed everyone knew about. Mistakenly so, obviously. I just figured it had been around so long. Someone had... Everyone had... Known about it? No. Silly me. You know what they say about assuming, right? Don't fucking do it. Do you play Roblox? No. <laughs> no, I don't play Roblox, man. No. <laughs> Sorry. Only uh, My Little Pony Kingdom Castle Creator. That's all. That's it. That's all I play. Once in a while in Rim World, but otherwise it's My Little Pony. Oh, what about you? Big fan of uh, Roblox? No? Yeah, the problem is I have is trying to get it worked out so that my pipes don't get clogged up and it all shuts down. 
Well, that's the thing. You need to be like constantly pumping out stuff, right? You're like in Factorio, you always need, like you can't let anything get plugged. <laughs> Everything needs to be draining out somewhere and being used up somehow. So yeah, I guess it does get a little bit annoying, but it's in, in a way it's kind of fun figuring that kind of shit out too. Oh, well, maybe just me. Probably just me. Anyway, we should probably get yes. going, boys. We should probably get going. Well, thank you, Raiden Kramata. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that, sir. Cheers. Thank you. Sorry, we got we do. I it's, it's a little late for this old boy. I gotta get going. We gotta wake up tomorrow. Do many great things. Oh. And I was gonna host. I'm so sorry, Sammy Pizza. <laughs> Sammy Pizza, no. I'm sorry, Sammy. No need to cry. <laughs> no need to cry. Put on a happy face. But you have a good night. Thank you, Sammy Pizza. You too. Thank you. And thanks for dropping in. Appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, I should probably go to bed too. I, you know what I mean. It's a Sunday night. Go sneak in some John Oliver and then go to bed, maybe. No, well, I was having a difficult time focusing on your stream. I thought my eyesight was going, but Twitch switched you to 480p. Thanks, Twitch. What the hell, Twitch? What are you doing? It's weird. Maybe the Wi-Fi? Maybe the Wi-Fi was denying you quality. I don't know. Well, hopefully it gets fixed. What can I do with channel points? I don't know. <laughs> People keep asking me this question. I really should get an answer to it, right? We really should figure out an answer to that one. Uh, now, if you get 100,000 points, you can buy the ch channel from Benzel. If you manage to get 100,000, you could buy it from Benzel. Huh? And, yeah, I don't know. No goddamn idea. Some people have it set up so, like, after when I mean, you get like a hundred points, you can make someone do a push-up. That's not gonna happen. What kind of software for you to stream? What kind of software do I use? We use Streamlabs OBS. I use Slobs. <laughs> I believe is the acronym. Ah, it's pretty good. The streamer that I used to watch, uh, used to watch, watch that got me into streaming myself. He always used Streamlabs, and it seemed to suit his purposes just fine. Yeah, it's great. Does the trick for this guy. What's wrong with Pete? Oh, he's still passed out, right? At least we moved his fucking bed. High-tech researcher? This fucking music is so serene. I love it. Horse. Eh. I love that we only have one researcher. We always know what that motherfucker's up to, right? Production. Steel? Can we make it out of anything else? Oh fuck, we totally can. We can make it out of plastic steel. Does that do anything? Probably just makes it more expensive, right? I use Streamlabs OBS as well. Oh, fuck. See, I knew we had something, Akami. Nani. Nani. I know Nani. Nani is a... Uh... Ah, I forgot it. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot it. We've learned so many words. I know a channel that for 500, they will do a short improv rap or song about whatever you want. Well, let's see. That's the thing. I don't really want to be Mr. Song and Dance Man. I don't want to be, I don't want to do that kind of stuff. I don't want to just have my stream de derailed by people just, hey, fucking do this, hey, fucking do this. You know? If I'm going to have a shtick, it's going to be the banter with chat. That's the only shtick I want. I don't want Mr. Push-Up. I don't want to be Mr. Push-Up, Mr. What, I'm going to go pour a bottle of water on my head every fucking 2,000 points or something. I don't want to do that shit. Honestly. It's probably, Twitch is probably like rolling its eyes at me, like, oh my god, asshole, it's called engagement. Get with it. But I don't know, it's just. <laughs> it all seems so hokey. Hokey! Nani is called. Well, I don't know what it's called, I can't remember, it's Japanese for something. <laughs> Nani is something. One of my viewers the other night, she was mentioning, uh, mentioning that uh, she says Nani. 
instead of saying something else in in Spanish. It means what, right? What? Does it mean what? So people don't realize that she's Spanish. It was a very elaborate explanation. Nani? We'll give it a we'll give it a bing. What's what's Nani? Oh no, it's a soccer player. Nani? Nani? Nope, I officially don't know. <laughs> I officially don't know. After a, cursory, after a cursory bing, I have come to the conclusion that I don't really know what the good goddamn I'm talking about. This should be like top priority, boys. Let's get her done. Can we move these things now? Or are these things, we can only destroy them, I think. For whatever stupid fucking reason. They're too big to move? Yeah, you still can't fucking move them. I hate that. I really hate that. <laughs> it's always been that way. It does mean what? Hot damn! <laughs> Hot fucking damn, I knew it. We, we, we eventually would be able to jog our memory. Ah, still got it, baby. Still got it. Thank you, Marv. <laughs> you saved my sanity. For the next five, ten minutes, anyway. Give him a steel chair. Why don't we give this sucker a steel chair, too? Ooh, that doesn't sound too comfortable, actually. Hot diggity dog. Wooden. We'll give him a wooden one. Fuck you. Take your wooden chairs and shut up. Actually, we don't even want to have a wooden chair here. We'll get rid of this one, too. We can get rid of it now, right? Boosh. We're living off of this sucker. Oh, look. Look what Bobby can do. Moisture pump coming in. Beauty. Let's go. I think we should go. I think we should go. We'll thank ourselves tomorrow. When we don't. Did it? It's saved? Yeah, it's saved. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about this one. We're going to fix this up. Hold on. <laughs> forgot about this joke. Uh. How do we do this? Oh, yeah, there it goes. Ha-ha! <laughs> we fixed it. Also, I'm a game developer. Very cool. Very cool. What do you what 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 kind of game developer do you work? Like, what do you work on? Are you just like an all all around game developer? Do you have like a niche in the video game development world? Are you like an audio guy? A fucking physics? Wow, wow. That's so cool, man. So cool. Interesting. Y'all motherfuckers gotta unionize, but otherwise, I got nothing but uh, respect. <laughs> the old game developers i i have uh, consumed many many hours of entertainment thanks to your hard labor so thank you thank you can you say what games you've worked on have i asked too many questions i think that was like a good six seven different questions some of them even open-ended so sorry 2d game developer not bad not bad ain't no shame in that some of my favorite games are 2d fucking stardew valley one of the best games I've ever played. 2D through and through, baby. Huh. Nice. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you again, Raiden, for the follow. Good night, Benzomorphin. Good night, Clean Biscuit. Good night, Raiden Cromata. Good night, Marv. Good night, Adro. Good night, Sammy Pizza. Good night, Lazy Monkey. Good night. Who else? <laughs> Fuck Master. Good night. I am Pelican. Good night. Ian, my man. Fucking pounding the booze. Good night. Are you going to end the stream? Yeah. Yeah, I got to go, man. Good night, John Boy. Good night, John Boy. <laughs> Fucking John Boy. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard that one in a while. Yeah, we got to end it. Raiden, I got to end it. Man, it's like 2.40 in the morning. I got to go. And I got to work tomorrow. It's got to go. I, it's, I could probably play this game for another two hours, but... I will hate every minute of tomorrow if I do. Probably because I got a, a hell of a day looking at me tomorrow. Apparently the market's going to take the biggest shit kicking it's ever taken tomorrow. According 
according to where markets are right about now, the foreign markets anyway. Let's hope you've all got very diverse profiles. Because <laughs> I think it's about to hit the fan. I think uh, I think the shit's going to hit the fan tomorrow. A lot of developments over the weekend. I think she's in for a rough one this weekend. And I work in like the, the world of business news for the first half of my shift. The first two thirds of my shift. So we're going to be knee, deck, knee deep in market activity tomorrow. No doubt. Should be fun. Where are we? I haven't even checked. The last couple of hours. How are we doing? Is the Aussie exchange still blowing up? Uh, oh, yeah, and there's apparently there's a new oil war. The price of Brent crude fell almost 30%. A drop not seen since the start of the first Gulf War. Apparently, Russia and the Saudis, they've just decided that now's a great time to uh, have a war over the price of crude. <laughs> so we'll see. That's great for Canada's oil, oil industry. <laughs> That's our oil industry pretty much shot the shit. Have a good night! <laughs> Have fun! Oh, we always like to end on a high note, right? <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. We'll see you soon. Good luck. Maybe. Maybe. to trade in chooch coins for antidepressants now <laughs> sorry man i'm sorry what is this song this is a radiohead song i've never heard before god tom york is a fucking weird looking guy even with like his eight-year-old girl haircut he's still weird looking Okay, bye. Have a good night. Wow, this is totally inappropriate, right? I was hoping to go out on something a bit more upbeat. No? No, this is sad, too. It's just, like, electronic sad. No? What about this one? Oh, for fuck's sake. There's more sad robot music. Okay, I give up. <laughs> bye. Goodbye. Bye.